here down below on Pactolus, looking into this very spacious cabin. Here's the engine box here. It's got this covering on, lift up, nice varnished mahogany top, works well as a work surface for the galley. Here over to starboard is the galley. Got a two burner gas stove, Plastimo one with oven and grill. And a single sink, a bit of a draining board, manually pump water, fresh water. And looking forward here. Okay, you can see this works quite well when you're working at the galley to have an extra worktop here. It's, it's got the rails all round, stops us sliding when you're at sea. Um, here on the port side is a quarter berth. It's obviously just used for storage, it's got the Zodiac and all sorts in at the moment, but nice good sea berth in there. And there's lockers, battery switches, storage space. Nice features like this vertical grab rail here built in for moving and also there's a full length grab rail here all the way along the carlins so uh, when you're moving through the boat it's quite good. Headroom here in the saloon is uh, about six foot seven so awful lot of space. Varnish teak Saloon table. And here's the port side settee. It looks quite small like that, but the back folds up, clips up here, and makes the berth a lot wider, so it's a good, comfortable berth. Lockers and storage space. On the starboard side here, You've got another settee, this can be used as a single berth. And you've also got a pilot berth in here outboard. And the chart desk here, facing forward, and you sit on the end of the berth. Use the chart desk. There's some bits here, clipper, GPS and depth. You can see the massive construction of the hull. Big knees, heavy deck beams, big beam shelf, lodging knees. And uh, she's also now had a, a new deck, so she's got a T-Con ply deck. So that ply's putting a massive amount of strength into her. Lots of lockers again here, all built in. And then ducking down here, moving forward into the fore cabin. Headroom here of about five foot eight, five foot nine, a little bit less, but still very good. So single berth here to port and to starboard. Heads compartment, it's just a Jabsco manual sea toilet. Going uh, drain straight overboard and a little hand basin that drains into the heads bowl. Here we've got the mast, keel stepped obviously. And then another single berth here to starboard. Lots of good little features like this little storage locker here. Um, there's a hanging locker. And then there into the bows with a chain locker. See the spurling pipe, stainless steel spurling pipe there coming through, and this is the bottom of the um, of the anchor windlass. Big stainless plate there supporting the whole structure, and then this varnished mahogany box has been put on to hide the uh, the motor. Moving back aft.
This cabin is terrifically spacious, very comfortable. And then out on deck.